So, honestly, uh, I woke up four hours ago from an accidental 16-hour quote-unquote nap. So, I guess, uh, let's talk about uh, Vtex's post-development updates. I, I agree with it, to be honest. But, uh, real quick, please subscribe. We're getting pretty close to 3k, and it only takes a couple seconds, and you will have a chance to win Sunken Warrior. Not Sunken Warrior, Sunken Sword. <laughs> uh, Sucker Sword are two seasonals, and we will be giving away seasonals monthly for a while. So, yeah, with this said... Uh, I'm just going to read the post and then tell you guys my opinion on it as we go. I will be farming clear stones. But, so pretty much what Vtex said is big fuck you to the all the toxic complaining, doom posting PPPers in this community. I know most of you, the people I'm talking about, probably won't read this because they tend to not read things and complain about stuff in their own ignorance, but you know who you are. Uh, I, I feel as if this was probably partially because of a tester video and how many people it sparked to just complain uh, and honestly i fully take responsibility for that i honestly just post shit like that when one there's an issue that pops up like the starboard arrows was actually i don't think i clarified this in the video uh the original video topic was about testers buffing storm arrows but it kind of derailed and then I talked to somebody else about it, and they just said go for it. It was like 3 a.m. too. But, yeah, I got to say, um, that most of this is right. Uh, I despise this portion of the community, and frankly, I would remove PvP entirely if it wouldn't kill the game. And, uh, yeah, and something that I do think I have a problem with is the people who are acting like this is Vtex saying he hates PvP. Uh, no, it, it's the current people who do it i gotta say since arcane odyssey a lot of the anime youtubers space made videos on it uh i'm gonna be honest a big portion of the people who play this will also play like deep woken and other stuff like that and the deep woken community isn't the best uh neither is gpo blocks for it's, uh, any game that you'll see an anime uh, youtuber playing and truthfully, that's what causes it to become what it is right now. Is yeah, a bunch of toxic fucks uh, sitting in like a, a a cesspool. Pretty much, is just what the PVP scene is. Like, there's some good in it, but a lot of people who are in the PVP community do just tend to complain a lot. And so my thing is the tester issue. Not the tester issue. The complaint issue is in Arcane Adventures. Um, all the people who are complaining now are like my age, like uh, 13 to 17, I'd like to say. I don't see many eight, 18 year olds complaining. Yeah, there are some, don't get me wrong. Just because you're 18 doesn't mean this doesn't go to you. But they were young. They were like. Uh, Arcane Adventures was like 2016, I think. Uh, like a long time ago. So, like, seven years ago. So, a lot of them were, like, eight. Like, they were under ten at the time. And now, here's how this works. They didn't even know balancing existed. They didn't know anything about game making. They didn't know anything. Now, people think they know how to balance, how to do stuff like that. So, they'll complain because they think they'll know what they're talking about. They think it's as simple as just, oh, this bug, this is a bug? Like, oh, this is a bug? Like, oh, you can, you can launch yourself with snare? Wow, that's a pretty easy fix, Vtex. You should fix it. In reality, yeah, I honestly agree. It's not. Roblox is everything just sucks. It I hate Roblox and I wish it didn't have such a strong hold on like marketing, but it's also a good thing because it does make it possible for stuff like this to be made and like good games. But I, I just feel bad for developers who have to work with it. And that also does give justified reasons for people who make, like, money grab shit games. Like, I know Bloxford started with good intentions, but now they do weekly updates that are just cheap. And that's why I won't, uh, you'll never see me playing uh, Bloxfruits on this channel unless I'm absolutely desperate for anything. Uh, he says he barely even interacts with the community anymore due to how toxic Roblox has gotten. Uh, yeah, he said even YouTubers making video entire videos spreading false information or assumptions on topics they are completely ignorant about. 
So, uh, actually, that video was sparked because I, I know they still don't want to talk about it, but uh, someone did tip me off. Uh, uh, same with uh, our Chronos video was actually sparked because he got tipped off by someone different, actually, which is kind of funny, uh, which I also will not be telling who tipped off our Chrono. But, uh, yeah, we weren't fully ignorant to it. We were just using what we were given, uh, like what we were told, like the, the Storm of Arrows, Reign of Arrows, whatever it's called, change was that. And he said... So here's the truth. The game will never have a combat focused update. I, I don't think anyone asked for that. I, I might be wrong. There might actually be some like absolute nutcases that genuinely want an entire combat update. The combat in the game exists. People want like stupid shit like GPO or something. They're like, no, there has to be like M1s. Stop with the dodge reflex. Like, that, that I fully agree. Like I... I'll see fucking morons join this game, and instead of like doing anything, they'll just sit there like swinging their sword mid 1v1. I miss those days when it was like 90% noobs, so it was kind of funny walking up to someone and they're just M1ing you. Um, hold on. Uh, the fact that there's more than a week's worth of balance changes to, to do every update is ridiculous and it takes away from the new content the game could be getting. It's simply unrealistic and to be ex. To be expected to do 100% per every single update, I would rather work on aspects of the game that everyone likes rather than weird behaviors that don't affect 90% of the player base. Yet we hear this game is doomed whenever the most insignificant things on the balance dock is skipped. So, I, I gotta say, there are some things that he skipped that I get. Like, there are some changes that uh, also don't make sense. Also, I think part of that goes on the balance team because he did... I'm pretty sure all of the changes that were under Urgent and then skip the ones that were at the bottom of the dock that even the balance team themselves said they weren't that important. And there, there are definitely some that should have been higher up. But it, it's fair. Vitek skipped those because they were labeled as not that important. And I also feel like it's within Vitex's right. He, he can skip the dock if he wants to. Um... <clears throat> one of our most insignificant things on the map. If you don't like the fact that the game is not giving combat-focused updates and leave, the game will be a better place without these toxic people. Uh, that that is the one thing that's like kind of that's like a double-edged sword. Because on one end, the PVPers would be gone, but he himself said if he disables PVP, the game would just die. And uh, yeah, a lot of the player base is PVPers. I'd like to say a good eighty percent, because as of right now. Maybe not this server, but there are a lot of people who really PvP. And, uh, yeah, that's why Elysium exists. That's why all that stuff exists. Because, one, very cool concept. And, two, just a lot of people like PvP. It's a way people keep themselves entertained. My way of keeping myself entertained while this game is like waiting on an update is normally I'll just start a new file. Like I recently made a fire power and it was fun. And I do enjoy replaying the story because it's actually a pretty good story and I enjoy leveling up. Uh, and he said, as for testers bad, I would make a way better tester. I'm pretty sure I opened my video talking about how I would not make a good tester. Like, I would, I, I would do it if I was given the option, but I, I don't think that can happen. I also pinned a comment under that video a long time ago, like, maybe a day or two after the video came out. Actually, more like 10 hours, because someone immediately commented, I think they should make Femcell, Arcrono, and Aimcell a balance member. And I said, no. Because, uh, here's the thing. Just because you think you can do something doesn't mean you can't. Like, if I start thinking, I think I can fly, then go jump off a building, I'd die. Uh, it's as simple as that. If I tried to jump off a building, I would die. So, uh, yeah, just because you think you can do something doesn't mean you can. And, uh, no, you wouldn't. Even if the game had 300 active testers, there would still be bugs that make it into each update. I also included this in the pinned comment, uh, well before this post was made, obviously, um, about it. And pretty much just said, uh... A lot of it is just bugs that aren't super, super important, and the update date is already said when they found them. Also, if they're just some bugs, Vtex doesn't have time to fix. It makes sense. He, he is a solo developer. I don't think we should expect him to release an update without any bugs. It, like, a lot of them are found by the testers early on. Just, there's not enough time. Because people will complain if an update gets delayed, and then the doom, the doom talk will get worse. Well, fucking Doctor Doom will come in here and be like, "Oh no!" You know, it, it's not that bad. Um, he 
here, there we go. And this doesn't even matter considering the actual game breaking ones are fixed less than a week after updates anyways. So, yeah. I don't owe you anything and you playing my game doesn't entitle you to anything either. I do the balance stock every update to make sure the game is stable. Yet every single update, without fail, there's entire channels of people complaining and crying to the point where the public balance Discord server general chat have to be closed down. And this time, the general chat had to get closed. Like, the literal... A uh, community general chat is still locked down. It has been locked down since 4 10 a.m. It is 6 07 a.m. Because people were whining. I'm pretty sure I saw some kid say, Oh, I play I pay Vtex's bills. I literally pay his bills. And it's like, no the fuck you don't. One, you're not a Patreon. Like that that's all that the end of story. Patreons don't even pay his bills. Like it, it's so dumb. Like, hold on. Let me try to, like, there were people spamming. There were people doing copy pastas. It's just so dumb, bro. There's so many people. It, it, oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm going to name him so you go after him. Reality of Claws. Uh, reality, spelt normally, of, and then K-L-A-U-S. Reality of Claws. Um, if I search from Reality of Claws, I'm willing to bet he has barely ever typed in here. You ready? Live, this is a live recording, by the way. This is being recorded for you guys to listen. There we go. He was bypassing the server lockdown. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, wait, nah. I think I think he probably del deleted it. But here we go. So someone said it, he doesn't need to fund the game as he's making it himself. Are you are stupid or trying to start shit? He was trying to start shit. But he said, clearly you don't know what it takes to make a good game. Market it well and promote it so it can gain popularity. He has other games he makes money from. I'm paying his rent right now. I want something good in return. People aren't just going to be silent about him ruining the game. So stop expecting him to. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Reality a clause? Why don't you comment down below? You enjoyed a 10 minute storyline? We all made it months for the storyline to continue. And we only got 10 minutes of it? He's so lazy and you all don't see it. I would like to make a genuine argument here. I'm going to open Vtex's profile. And he is offline. And do you want to know why? He stays up until 3 a.m. my time. About the amount of time I stay up for no real reason other than I procrastinate on videos sometimes. I haven't do them. I haven't start them at like, I, I'd like to say 10 p.m. And then finish it at 3 a.m. Vtex spends his entire day from when he wakes up, he goes to the gym, and then works on this game. This game is his identity, and, and like, I, I'm not even kidding. He spends all of his time on this game. It is his identity. And uh, let's read the rest of this message because I've spent too much time talking about this reality of Claws kid that complains way too much. Uh, no matter how much you complain, I'm not changing my update routine to please you because I despise players like you. I already do more for player these players in each update than I would like to. And that's totally understandable. I, I don't expect Vtex to change. I even said, I don't think anything will change in that exact video. Uh, other than this announcement, which I feel like might have been caused by me. I don't know how many people I caused to complain. Uh, and that is actually my bad. I I feel like something I need to realize is I sometimes cause people to go after Vtex. Uh, that, that is something I, I've started to realize more and more as I post videos and more and more people start complaining. Uh, he says, sorry for the rant, especially if it didn't concern to you, but these are my thoughts I've been keeping to myself for about the past year. I will be adding those new ideas I mentioned last week to Vitrello tomorrow, finally, since I get into the chance to yet, because I was busy doing balance changes. I'm super excited to start the next update, especially with some of the smaller things that are planned, like VFX community improvements, and I really like, think you will all like the balance, not the balance system, the building system. So, it, actually, if you check my recent video, I talked about the clan building system. It, it sounds pretty cool. I talked about the entire like update plan for this year but yeah the building thing seems pretty cool and i i'm actually pretty excited for that i i'm curious if a clan infamy reset will happen that's interesting because i'm pretty sure there was like a requirement for your clan to be building i don't know i think it was like strong clan but then again that's an old trello i think that one was in like 2021 so his idea may have changed but uh with that red uh, I pretty much agree with most of it. Uh, let's go to the public balance discord server because Flucin, actually Flucin, I forget how to say his name. I think it's Flucin. No, Flucin. Flucin? 
I don't know, uh, F-L-U-E-C-T, uh, made a thing and said, regarding the recent outrage, uh, I'd try, like to try to keep things to, like to try and address this as respectively as possible, but this opening statement, please actually grow and be a real human for one second. Vtex has never had an issue with PvPing as a concept. People who simply happen to engage, or people who simply happen to engage in PvP. His problem has been with the over-obsession of PvP and the toxicity of PvP communities in general. I, I already kind of said this. I agree. Um, people complain a lot, and a lot of it just comes from PvP. Like, the PvP community is probably the loudest community. It may be because it's a big community, but at the same time, it, it's pretty stupid how much... Uh, PvPers just complain, and as I said, Roblox in general, PvPers are just toxic as hell. Uh, the game is not even supposed to be centered around PvP. Literally, nobody in his position would even remotely enjoy opening any chat and seeing this stuff. So that would obviously be the case. And as a balanced team members or testers, the problem is equally visible for us too. Uh, but there's nothing else to do. What? There's nothing else to do. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing else to do, probably. Maybe there isn't. That doesn't mean you have to cry about that the game is doomed every update because of the game's balance. You can continue to PvP. Vtex can continue to add changes to fix the PvP, but don't expect the game to be any close, anywhere close, close to a perfect PvP experience, which that isn't the main focus. Once again, I, I said we, we should not be doing that. Maybe once we accept that, then Vtex can put more resources into further developing other aspects of the game so there are more things to do. Uh, and then yeah, these are like bolder things. So, uh, so then the text doesn't like criticism constantly crying that the game is doomed and straight up making up information isn't as a joke isn't criticism. That's just being toxic. The game deserves criticism sometimes, but it shouldn't become a cesspool of dooming. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, this is good criticism. The update wasn't that good. Vtex spent too much time on that. Doesn't really matter and didn't fix bugs. He should have focused more on this and the other stuff instead. Uh, then he said, this constrains substantial criticism and possibly, all know, although not necessary, way to fix things. It is also not constantly repetitive and overbearing. If you want to criticize the game, you will find ways to improve your criticism so it's better heard and being received. As arguably the most combative tester, I'm constantly one wrong statement away from being burned at the stake. I don't like that Vtex hates criticism. I try to make my complaints in a way for, that Vtex may be more receptive to. Everyone hates criticism, otherwise PvP heads wouldn't lash out the second Vtex calls them toxic. Uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, a lot of the people who were riding uh, were only pissed that he said toxic in that message. He probably could have said it, it made that post without starting it with it, to the toxic PvPers and just said nothing. And yeah, nobody would have read that shit. I, I would have probably because I'd actually check dev updates it's pretty much any time there's a post there I get pretty excited but yeah I agree and he said this is bad criticism the game is doomed Vtex hank over his pride and ego and would rather focus on stuff like tanning he really skipped or added this yeah let's go play deep Oaken. I I kind of find this ironic because I just now remembered I did mention deep Oaken like a little bit ago I read Vtex's messages beforehand but I didn't really bother reading this one yet I was saving that for the video and when I'm more awake um this doesn't contain any substantial criticism and uses false arguments tanning doesn't make a substantial amount to add at all Vtex can focus on fun little changes every once in a while which I agree something that I don't think many people notice but it, it's kind of cool hold on let me take this off and run out and take off my insanity so, uh, I don't think many people notice this, but if you say, like, hello, I am Femso, your your mouth actually moves now. Oh, bruh. Hello. I am Femso. Like, your, your mouth moves now, like, based off of words, which is actually pretty cool. I really like that. But, yeah, I, I do think it's, like, an Arcade Odyssey thing to do. It's, like, add little, like, fun changes that... I feel like it also keeps him going. Like, I feel like it is a good thing to allow Vtex to just add fun stuff and not complain. Like, it, it, it's not worth complaining over something that's arguably pretty cool. It's cool that our mouth moves when we talk similarly to the NPCs. I kind of like that. It's obviously a small detail that not many people notice, but it's a nice one when you do notice it. That Vtex does put a lot of thought into his games.
and it ends with so are my feelings slash complaints invalid. No, you're free to feel outraged about updates. Everyone gets outraged over updates, but aiming to make the situation more toxic doesn't make things better. It just worsens everyone's mental health. If you are that upset, then just leave. That's not even an insult, it's the truth. It's not healthy to constantly be mad about things, and it's not healthy to constantly be feeding those attitudes into other people. So for your own sakes, and for others, just leave. Leaving's a more effective mechanism than it at getting things to change than outrage is anyway. Less community members over more toxic community members. And uh, if I see any copy factors, copy pasta as I'm eating your family, that goes for AOSL too. And actually, on topic of AOSL, uh, so Select Torch uh, made a video. And uh, most of it was, I actually, I agreed with pretty much all of it. Like, I was tired, so I bounced topic to topic, and it was kind of incompetent. But, um, Select Torch made a video and it was the, this YouTuber said, what about testers? And I got so many pings. Uh, I would not take this. I will not take this. I will not take this. And it's like, there, there was not much said negatively. He even read my pinned message at the end, which is the one thing I was worried he wouldn't do. He's one of the few people who read the comment before making like his final comments on the video. He read the pinned comment and agreed with it. He also agreed with some of the stuff about testers. There are a decent amount of inactive ones, but also that's because they're unpaid. I, I said this in my pinned comment, they're unpaid. A lot of people seem to think the testers like get paid or some shit. They do not need to test. They're not obligated to test. They don't get paid. It is not their job. It's not technically a job. It's just, it's what they want to do and when they want to do it. If they randomly all of a sudden are like, hey, I don't want to test. They don't have to. They genuinely do not have to. Would they lose their role? Maybe. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. Like, they don't absolutely need to test the game. Like, not at all. And yeah. So, I think I've said everything I need to say. But yeah. Uh, Vitex is right. And anyone who really tries to say he's not is, like, you're entitled to your own opinion. But, oh, general chat just got unlocked. But anyone who, like, wants to, they're entitled to their own opinion. Like, it, it, it's fine. So, yeah, lockdown is up. So anyone watching this video now, uh, lockdown is cleared at 11.19 uh, a.m. But, yeah. So with this all said, uh, we'll see how the general unlock goes, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. I, I'll try to get a like video out that isn't just talking about how dumb the community is being, and yeah, this is probably going to be completely unedited. I might add music in the background, and that's about it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.